All right, Miss Aurora is back, secured entrepreneurs. Miss Aurora firmly believes that she has prevented yet another divorce. Now, I don't know if that's going to be a good or a bad thing for this couple, but as of tonight, there's no divorce. In this video, Miss Aurora has got to get into just why it is entrepreneurs need to purchase real estate with their irrevocable trust paying cash, all right? This has to do with the fire that we had to put out this week. It, we, it's, it's going well. We, we started last week. As of tonight, it's going great. And I want to get into it because I have permission to share this scenario, all right? So can we do it? For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day, and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses. You heard that right? Stick around. We know this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. All right now, Secured Entrepreneurs, I have to ask you to please like this video, share this video, comment below. You know, we are an interactive community. Subscribe to the channel if you have not, because we are growing the Secured Entrepreneur Movement in these last five months of the year. And this scenario is one of the main reasons why we're doing it. I want the Secured Entrepreneurs to know that you don't have a reason not to pursue your financial endeavors. You don't have a reason. We've got a plethora of people out here trying to convince us that times are so horrible, times are so terrible. You're never gonna be able to do certain things. You're never going to be able to gain access to certain things. You're never going to have a particular type of lifestyle. You're never going to possess tangible items that you desire to possess. You're never going to have the ability to leave a legacy that goes beyond your first generation. You're being told that and every, all of the images that are being put in your face are dictating that to you. Even your, it's being, it's being so ingrained that you are beginning to inhabit that energy in your physical body, in your mental body, in your emotional body. Miss Aurora is here tonight to let you know that you have to let that go. Okay. First thing I want to hit on this couple, they were a married couple. They've been married for a very long period of time. The wife, the young lady who is the new secured entrepreneur, yes, came into an inheritance. The inheritance came because both parents are now deceased. So one parent was living off of something when that parent transitioned, which is the parent that now has turned over this inheritance to this young lady. This young lady was astute enough to know that she needed assistance with the money because she wants to start a business. The business would require for her to have a piece of property. The husband is dead set against it, primarily because he doesn't come from an environment where, it, where anyone had anything. And he doesn't believe that people purchase you know, properties like this or have the means to do it. And, and, and I mean, the list goes on. His primary thought process was that, and how many of you have heard this, been told this, said this, believed this? Well, you never really own property in the United States if you um, have property taxes anyway. You never really own the property. How many of you have, have, have heard this? You've been told this, you believe this, you've said this to yourself, you've said this to other people. Mr. Aurora hears this all day long and I'm here to tell you that that is false. That is false, okay? Don't let anybody talk you out of what you're trying to obtain in this life to leave for your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren. Don't you, don't you do it to yourself. Okay. Now point number one about the inheritance that we're going to get on with the five points I want to make about, uh, the purchase. I want all of the secured entrepreneurs to know that an inheritance is not marital property. An inheritance is not marital property. 
That's number one. It can become marital property if it is commingled, also known as transmutation. <laughs> okay. So commingling meaning that, okay, you came into the inheritance and you bought a car, you bought some furniture, uh, you bought a, you bought a home, you bought things that you share with your spouse. You put the money in a joint bank account. Oh, now this is marital property. But when the inheritance comes for one person, the inheritance is not marital property. Now I have to tell you that I do know in Connecticut, Connecticut is like a, a state that a hey, look, it, it, you married, everything belongs to the both of you. Okay. Like that, that state could be an issue. So look that up. If you're watching from Connecticut, you want to, uh, you want to research that. But for the most part, the inheritance, number one is tax-free. You know that we're, we're all about tax-free wealth over here in this, on this channel. And then, uh, the inheritance is not marital property unless it is commingled. So this was the husband's first point of contention because when the money came, he was under the impression that, okay, now we're going to be able to do X, Y, and Z. And the wife made it very clear. No, we are not because this business is getting started. Okay. He was under the belief that there was no way she was going to be able to purchase this property because people don't have money like that out here. Uh, that's not for people like us. You know, you, 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 you're going to be paying way more money because you're never really going to own it because you have to pay the property taxes. I mean, he had so many arguments about why it is his wife should not do what it is she was trying to do. So by the time they got on to Aurora Day Consulting's doorstep, this man was heated and he was ready to go off. Okay. So he wanted to do all of the talking. He wanted to basically out talk his wife. And I had to make these points. First point, which is where we're going with this, why it is you need to utilize your irrevocable trust to make the purchase with cash. I pointed out to the husband, you are avoiding the debt that you are complaining about right now. When it is that your wife makes this purchase with cash, you don't have to worry about making any type of monthly payments that you say people like you can't afford to do, even though you're paying rent, but okay. You will not have to worry about making any type of interest payments because that was his first thing. Like, when you make those payments, you're, you're, you're doing nothing but paying interest anyway. You know, he, he had that argument. Okay, but you're avoiding all of that by making the cash purchase. That's the first thing. Then I got on to the second point, which has everything to do with the investment advantages. Okay, because this particular piece of property that the wife needs for the business that she is going to run, that she's going to operate, okay, you now have full ownership over the property, sir. What does that mean? You, you have full control over the asset. Even if you were going to rent a piece of this property, the profit is 100% yours. Well, actually the, the profit is 100% belonging to the trust that they have access to. Okay. Let me just say that correctly. So I had to explain it to him this way that you are not competing with a mortgage. So if you were to use part of it for, for rental, that rental income comes in. You, you're not worried about even what you would have to charge a person above your mortgage because there is no mortgage. The appreciation was the next thing under the investment advantages. Okay. Uh, I said, when the property appreciates again, you're not competing with a mortgage. All of the appreciation and the equity belongs to this property. You don't have to worry about all this other stuff going on out here. Okay. Because these are all the, I was hitting all of his concerns as to why he didn't want his wife to do this. All right. Let me address, sir, what you're saying about how people don't have money like that out here. And you think that your wife is stone cold nuts for even believing that she wants to do something like this because nobody's doing this stuff out here. Secured entrepreneurs. 
If you believe this, and if you don't believe that it's possible for you, let Mr. Aurora show you what I showed this gentleman. Are you ready? Okay, so I bought the client to Zillow. And I said, take a good look. Sold June 14th, 2024 for $6,625,000. Secured entrepreneurs. Do you believe that this was a mortgage or was it cash? It doesn't matter. The point is $6 million home purchase. This man told me people don't have money out here like that. And you're being told that people don't have money out here like that. And this is a relatively small home. Look, Laguna Beach, 3,780 square feet. Do you know what you could get in other states for $6 million? Let's go on. I showed him a pending sale, $2,490,000, 8,179 square feet. I showed him a home that is a $3 million home under contract, 7,077 square feet. I showed him another home that's under contract, $2,993,777. Uh, 6,261 square feet that's under contract. I sold him another pending at $5,995,000. That home is also in Laguna Beach and it's only 3,302 square feet. I showed him another pending home here in Laguna Beach, $5,790,000. Somebody has $5 million to buy a relatively small home on the beach. I showed him this home that sold on June 14th, 2024 for $3,300,000. It's a 5,124 square foot home. Somebody had $3 million secured entrepreneurs. Hello. I showed him this house that sold on May 13th, 2024 for $2,995,000. This is a very small beach home, 1,963 square feet. Somebody paid $2,995,000 for it. I showed him another home here that sold for $2,100,000. 5,096 square feet. Somebody had $2 million. Okay. The last one that I showed him is one that's under contract for $2,649,000. Okay. Now, of course, the gentleman, this is the first stage of, of, of him blessing Miss Aurora out. And he said some choice words that were extremely disrespectful and unpleasant because for some reason, I had to be working for Zillow and putting that information on the internet just for him. Yes, it was that bad. Okay. And I said, sir, I'm just trying to tell you that there are many people who have this type of money all over this country. I'm not even going to get on the world. I'm just going to stay in this country. There are people all over who have this kind of money, cash money to purchase things like this, sir. Okay. Please stop this. He just, he just wanted to, to, to go on. So the other point that I made was the, the, the anonymity. I said, the reason why your wife is going to make the purchase in the name of the trust, why the trust is going to make the purchase is for anonymity. No, no one is going to know that she may be either the trustee. She may be a beneficiary. No, nobody's going to know any of this. Nobody's going to know that you even live there, sir, unless you tell them, unless you invite these people over. Okay. This, this particular property and, and, and who is residing there? All oh, that stuff that is anonymous. You want your trust to make these purchases. So all the secured entrepreneurs already know this. Okay. For those of you who are visiting, this is, these are the reasons why. So, so we got on anonymity. Now here is where this gentleman really, I mean, when I tell you cursed Mr. Aurora out, woo, we're friends now. Cause he apologized two days later, but the other point are the tax benefits. Now this gentleman was just all up in arms about the property taxes. I said, sir, your wife will not 
be responsible for any type of property taxes when the asset is purchased in this way. What? Oh, he could not believe it. So again, I bring him to the internet. So first I showed him some things, uh, some statues in the state of Arizona, specifically on their websites, all of these things to show him that this is how this is being set up and this is what his wife is going to be able to do. Oh, some, somebody, somebody's lying. That can't be true. They could put all that stuff up there all they want to, but when you go to do it, uh, sir, I can't make this stuff up. Okay. Look at what Mr. Aurora showed this man. Now this is on Justia. Okay. First, let me take you up to show you what this is. This is 2023 Arizona revised statutes, title 42 taxation exemption for educational library property. Okay. So we're on number three, a residential treatment and education facility are exempt from taxation beginning on the date the nonprofit organization acquires ownership of the property and buildings of the property and buildings are used for education and are not used or held for profit. Okay. This is just one of the many statutes that I showed this gentleman to let him know that his wife is going to have the proper documentation to exempt the property from taxation. She is operating out of a trust that is falling under the heading of the, the internal revenue service heading 501 C three. Okay. He, he would not, for some reason now I also worked for Justia and I went back here and made up all this stuff to show to him. Nothing went over well for this man. So of course, then I had to talk to him about the next point, which is the legacy. So after he went through this whole thing about how now I work for Justia and I work for I don't know the government and I, and I put all this stuff on the internet just for him and all of this. I said, sir, the way that your wife is about to make this purchase, your children are going to inherit all of these things tax free. There will be no estate tax. Okay. There will be, everything is going to be okay. You will not be burdened by this property because it is doing a work that is exempted. Everything is okay. When it is that you are operating like this, when you have this property, the property has been purchased the right way with this entity. Okay. It has been purchased for cash. Now the, the legacy, the transferring of the asset to your children, sir, is going to be seamless. There will not be any questions as to who, when, what, and why. All right. And this is the reason why the entrepreneurs must begin to purchase real estate via their irrevocable trust with cash. All of the issues that you really have when you're trying to put everything in your name, when you're trying to, to get mortgages, all these things are alleviated and eliminated when it is you are out here operating in commerce properly making these purchases. Okay. This is going to be like part one. Okay. Of the, Cause I'm, I'm, I, this, there's more, there's more to this. And I want to share more about what the trust is actually going to do. But right now I'm going to tell all of the entrepreneurs who have not come on board yet. The next sole proprietor to CEO group session is August the 1st. These are the types of things that we're going to be getting into during the program. Now for four weeks, one hour a week, you're going to have the session with Miss Aurora. So I'm going to answer all of your questions. I'm going to be teaching you all of these strategies, all of these techniques, okay, that the secured entrepreneurs have access to that we are utilizing on a daily basis because we have the proper legal entities to do these things with, okay? You're going to get two anonymous LLCs. You're going to get a private irrevocable trust. You're going to get a full business credit program. And this is not... Uh, me placing you on some platform notices, you working with Miss Aurora. So it's done correctly. Each participant gets 90 days of business consulting with Miss Aurora. There's much more. Okay. So go to the link, uh, bit.ly backslash SP to CEO group 
and get all of the information and sign up today. I cannot wait to see you there and to begin to teach you how it is you're going to not only gain these types of assets to do the things that you really desire to do, but how you're going to protect it, how you're going to create your legacy. And I'm very happy and I'm always very grateful to all of the secured entrepreneurs who come on board and allow me to assist them in bringing their vision to fruition. All right. That's what Miss Aurora wants to share in this video. You all know you can find me, Miss Aurora Day, at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.